public lands are a tremendous resource. They provide an opportunity to get out and enjoy wild places with friends. Rich with diverse wildlife populations, Idaho is a great state for the do-it-yourself Western big game hunter to head a field in pursuit of spring black bears. Great friends, good people. I feel very blessed. Completely pushed out right now. We've been climbing all day. Hunted so hard. And this bull just kept escaping us. The rewards in the journey, and this has been an unbelievable journey so far. Just put a hundred pounds of bait out. pretty early tonight <laughs> it's raining a little bit off and on but uh, not enough to affect the bears yet Day after day, the young bears continue to hit the bait, but the older age class of bear that I'm looking for is nowhere to be found. With time running short, a dramatic change in the weather is certainly not welcome. 
We're stuck in the tent, clearly. It never fails the weather. Murphy's Law, it is just pouring down. As you can see, we had a very dramatic change in the weather. home without filling my tag. Year two, Idaho Bear Camp. As you guys can see, it's stormy outside and this is my year to get a bear. And I am self filming this week. So you guys, it's gonna be fun, stay tuned. We already have some weather moving in. I brought in a bunch of master bait, bear bait. some storms move through here. We had a ton of rain and the baits have just been really slow. The bears are just coming out of hibernation. So as we, the week progresses, I should have more and more opportunities on bears. The big shot camera guy made it up the tree. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not worth dying for. I've known Rocky for most of my adult life and I wasn't much older than Lydia who was 19 when I met Rocky. As a young person, it's important to meet someone that can mentor you. Rocky is one of those people that helped me to become a more successful and accomplished big game hunter. He has been my friend, and that's what it's all about, sharing a legacy. Rocky hates me for this hike that we just did. But um, the view is pretty spectacular. As you can see, all of these timber pockets open up into little grassy knobs where I can use my rifles, hopefully on a bear. And then I got a bait below me at 35 yards and it is a straight angle. of her and she's in almost every day but it's not really a bear I want to take that as beautiful as she is um, this, this is the right thing to do to let her go so that's what I did despite our efforts I went home once again without finding the right bear when things aren't working you have to switch it up I wanted to increase my time spent on the mountain glassing for cruising bears. So I came up with the idea of backpacking in and sleeping less than 300 yards from the bait. When I asked my good friend Jordan Budd to join me on a backcountry adventure, she didn't hesitate for a second.
My hunt was not about simply punching my tag. Hunters truly are the first step in wildlife management. For me, the hunt was about finding the right bear. And it took me two years, waiting out many storms, passing on many bears, never giving up. The greatest gift that our public lands give us as hunters is opportunity.